Hi, welcome to the second episode of Erlang Embedded. I'm Omar with Erlang Solutions. Today we're going to look at concurrency in Erlang and how this maps into the embedded domain. Erlang has support for concurrency in its runtime. It's fully aware of symmetric multiprocessing. Uh, you can utilize all the cores you have on your machine and your embedded systems. Um, it has support for lightweight processes. It does not rely on the operating system threads. Um, and the overhead for each thread is fairly minimal, so you can create hundreds and thousands or even millions of processes within the runtime. Um, it does not share any memory, so the processes are individually separated from each other. Um, they're independent. Communication happens via synchronous message passing, um, and each process has a mailbox and can use the receive primitive to selectively act on those messages. Um, today's demo is going to be um, a few LEDs connected to the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi board, and we're going to look at how we can individually control them. Um, we're going to spawn a process per LED, so each process, each LED will be running on their individual process and we will be able to control them um, in parallel. So let's have a look at the code example. Sorry. Um, we have two files in our directory. Um, one of them is called GPIO and the other one is called LED. Um, the GPIO module is a very primitive um, hardware control module. Um, so we're relying on the GPIO subsystem of the Linux kernel to interface with these pins. Um, the GPIO module has two functions, init and release. Init takes two parameters. The first is the pin, uh, the pin number uh, on the chipset, and the direction of the pin. So one thing to note here is that strings in Erlang are represented as lists. So we have to cast the pin, which is an integer, into a list to be able to concatenate it. Other than that, this procedure of opening the um, GPIO subsystem and writing to these um, individual bits is pretty much the same in every programming language. Release unexports or releases the pin so it could be used um, in other applications. Uh, let's have a look at the LED module. LED module builds on top of the GPIO.erl. Um, it has three functions, start, stop, and loop. Um, start initializes the pin using the GPIO init function, um, and then spawns a process um, which runs the loop function and passes that process ID to the caller. Um, stop sends the stop message, and we'll see what it does in a second. Now, the loop function um, uses the receive primitive and it's depending on the message sent uh, it acts on it so if for instance if an on message an on atom was received it would write one to the file descriptor um, and then call itself again um, and if blink was called for instance we would blink the LED uh, and then send ourselves the blink message again so that we would continuously keep running this um, and stop uh, closes the file descriptor <coughs> sorry, and releases the pin so that it could be used elsewhere. Okay, so let's have a look and see how this runs. Let's start up an Erlang runtime. Uh, compile and load the GPIO module and the LED module. Um, so we have three LEDs connected to the board. The first one is connected to pin 18. So, LED start 18. Okay. The second one is connected to 21, I think. And the third one is connected to 22. So, we now have three processes that are managing our LEDs. Uh, we can send messages to them um, to turn them on and off. So, turn that one on and turn that one on oops yep uh, I don't want to misspell that on and um, they each act independently so let's get the second LED to blink syntax error 
And while that's running, I can turn it turn the other ones on and off. Um, and they're each independent. Um, so this is a little demo of concurrency on the Raspberry Pi board. In the next episode, or the next video, uh, we will look into how we can uh, connect a few of the Raspberry Pis together to do some distributed processing. Um, and we'll see that processes running between network nodes um, communicate just like they're running on the same node uh, since the runtime is network aware. Thanks for watching. Um, get in touch with us on Twitter if you're interested in having a chat with us uh, or leave a comment on this video.